Hey guys, what's happening? So, just got back from Big Bear, back in town, and uh, on the way back I uh, stopped by Micro Center, and it was uh, packed. Um, it took me an hour to even get this thing. And this actually wasn't even my first choice, but it's, uh, it's AMD Radeon 5700 XT uh, Sapphire Nitro. Um, yeah, this thing is like a unicorn. You can't even get this. You can't... Right now, everybody's price gouged on the hardware because of Ethereum and just the shortage but uh, yeah this thing was $3.99 but it was already it was an open box but man you, I mean I, I looked on eBay and these things were selling for like $650 bucks to like $850 bucks new so total price gouging going on, on eBay even on Amazon too Amazon $850 so uh, I have my test bench here I'm going to hook this up in high OS and see what I can get out of it but I mean, this thing works. Like I said, it was, it's an open box, so they said they tested it. So, um, all right, 400 bucks. So let me show you my other mining rig real quick. So I already have ex experience with the RX 5700 XT. All right, here's what I'm currently mining right now. I got a couple Red Devils RX 57 XTs, a couple uh, Red Devil RX 570s, 470s, an older thing back there. And I also have another uh, six RX 580s. But they're not here, so, but, oh yeah, I forgot to say, but I'm actually currently getting 53 mega hash and high OS with this thing, running at about 100 watts, so. Alright, so this is a massive card. So it looks like it has uh, two DisplayPort, two HDMI, and it's the uh, three fan version. Oh, it looks like it even has a wrapper on it still. So. But I know it's pretty cool looking with the RGB lights and stuff, the things I've seen online. Two uh, A-pin PCIe connectors. And my actually my test power supply is not even... I mean, this thing's only 350 watts. <laughs> so it's going to be a stretch, but uh, I guess in high OS I can get this down to about 100 to 115 watts, typically, for the RX 5700s. But, um, alright, we'll get this in there, see what we can do. Alright, so we got the thing in there. I got a couple adapters. It's definitely not ideal. So at least I have on one one adapter on each of these uh, SATA connectors. Yeah, because I think you'd probably overload it on one. So try to separate a little bit that way. Yeah, I've actually had the uh, cables get hot before. You know, when they're both in the same. So let's fire this up. Plug in the ETX power supply here. I have a test monitor connected over there. Yeah, this is actually an old motherboard, so I don't know if this will even fire. Oh, maybe it got some... There we go. <laughs> Still the BG on there. So, that's cool. They actually had pass-through, though. So, alright, I'm going to get my, um... Hive OS in there. Forgot to put the USB in there. Are you booting the Hive? I can't remember what version of uh, AMD drivers, if I have 19.2 or 19.3. Alright, so there it is. My first mining with this card. So right now it's in about 51 mega hash. I'm on the uh, Hibion pole. And it's pulled about 117 watts. I haven't really done too much tweaking on it yet. I'm going to let it run overnight. Cables are not hot. That's good. I wouldn't suspect it would be 117 watts, but... So I'm going to let this run overnight. And then... I'm still going to... I'm going to BIOS mod it. And then uh, mess around with the settings, but... Uh, so far, so good. It's definitely. I, I think it's gonna be a better car than the uh, the power color uh, Red Devil, just because this thing actually runs a lot cooler, way cooler. Like the the Red Devil actually has issues with the memory getting really really hot. Um, so so far, this is actually a better card. And stock 51 mega hash is pretty good. No BIOS mod and some basic clock settings. And I'll, I'll show you that. I'll log in high and I'll show you the settings. Alright, so it's time to start BIOS modding this thing. So this is my current farm. I have four different servers going. And I'm going to go to cards. And these are all the different cards I've going. I have 470s, 570s, a couple 5700s. Well, now I have three 5700s. Uh, and then the rest 580s here. So I'm going to download the uh, VBIOS so I can mod it. Uh, yes, I want to do that too. And download. 
and it's going to download and I should be able to click on it and download it once it's done. Alright, now that it's downloaded, you can just be able to click on it and then you can download it. It's actually going to download to your downloads folder here and I'm going to copy it over to a folder on my desktop so I can run the uh, red BIOS editor and modify the uh, memory straps, 1500 memory straps. Alright, so now that I have the uh, BIOS downloaded from a Hive OS, I'm going to load it. And that's why it's downloaded. I'm not going to really mess with any of this RSF power play. Um, let's go to the VRAM timings here. Copy. So I'm basically copying the 1500 down to the other ones. Pretty simple. Save. <laughs> All right, and that should be it. So I'm going to go back up, upload it, we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back here at HiveOS, and I'll go actually to that worker, and I'm going to show you what I'm currently getting. So I'm currently getting about 51 mega hash at about 116 watts. That's my uh, core memory right there, and, um, or excuse me, core clock, and then memory right here. So 51 mega hash, that's the number to remember. So I'm going to go back to uh, my farm and go to cards and then I'm going to, um, actually I need to go up to uh, VBIOS storage here and I'm going to add VBIOS, AMD, choose file and that would be, should be back on my documents modded and I'm going to give it the same name RX5700 Nitro modded um, I'll put Micron too, that's what kind of memory is in here I'll just copy that and paste it again here upload And there it is. So I'm going to go back. Well, first I actually I should probably disable mining, disable the flight sheet, give it a couple of seconds to stop mining. Interesting. All right, um, and then go back to my thing, cards, and I'm going to select VBIOS. Sorry. That's the one I just uploaded. Select. Preparing. Alright, so now this thing is done. Hit the uh, flashcard. And that's what we'll be going through. Go back to worker. Alright, so now that I see this uh, card has been set. I'm going to actually have to reboot the uh, the system so it actually can load the new BIOS on the actual card. A couple different ways you could do that. You could go, um, I mean, you can obviously log into a console here. I can just type in reboot like that. Or you could just go to the actual worker. Or actually to that one, this one. And then you could also just click on here, reboot here. All right, so now the system is rebooted. I'm going to reapply the flight sheet, which for me is ETH going to the uh, heavy on pool team red miner, and we'll come back up, and we're gonna we'll see what this thing does here. I haven't got any shares yet, but it's just loading here. New job. Okay. 
right, so we're doing about 54.5, so that's about a three and a half gain. Three, 3.25, let's see here. Let me compare, look at the, the numbers are way better. The memory temperature versus the uh, Red Devil. Let me show you the Red Devil real fast. Um, yeah, take a look at the memory temperatures on the Red Devils. So 90 and 88. So I'm actually going to modify some of the settings here. And let's modify. This might crash it, we'll see though. Memory um, core voltage 800. All right, we'll see. What we're looking for is this number right here. So I am picking up shares, finally. Um, let's take a look. And so what I'm looking for is the invalid shares or to see if the same crashes here. So whatever happened, basically knocked out the cards. So I'm gonna go back and just to get this thing stable, I'll get rid of that that memory core. Because I'd like to get this thing to below 100 watt. That would be ideal for me. But I'll make an upcoming video once I get this thing dialed in. Um, you know what kind of settings are for the best. So the goal is to get uh, about 57 mega hash and to um, get it below 100 watt. All right, cool.